Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to use the Displace modifier so we can make this uh, grip. So let's get started. Subscribe now! So to show you how to make this, uh, this grip, this uh, displacement on the grip, as you can see it's, it's, a, it's a 3D, it's not only a, a texture. Uh, I have duplicated uh, the same grip right here, so we can do it from scratch. This is exactly the same grip. The first step is to make the, uh, the unwrap. You need to make the unwrap before uh, using the, the displacement modifier. So here I have the unwrap already made. Already made. Uh, this is the part what uh, we are going to use. The part of the of the grip you're going to use. So uh, after you after you unwrap the model, we are going, we are going to add a subdivision surface. The subdivision surface is important because we are uh, with this modifier we are we are adding. The solution surface is important because we are adding polygons to the to the mesh. This is important because the displacement modifier uses the uses a texture to displace the vertices. So you need certain amount of vertices. Okay. So we're going to I'm going to set this to to two or three levels. Remember, um, it's important also to have a clean topology. Um, after the solution surface, we are going to add a displacement modifier. Here is the displace. Here you are, the displace. Don't worry if you see uh, this result at the beginning. It's normal, so don't worry. Um, the displace modifier as I said, uh, it uses a texture to, to, to move the vertices. So we need to add a, a texture. In my case, I use uh, this diamond texture that I have downloaded from the internet. I will leave a link below in the, in the description so you can download it or you can use a, any other texture uh, that you want. So. Uh, press in in this button new, so we so we can add a new texture to the to the displacement modifier. Don't worry about this. We're going to change the name to grip, so we can know um, which texture is. And now to load a texture, a texture of the of the diamonds. Uh, you can press this button to go to the texture panel so we can load the image file or you can press also this uh, icon panel is the, the same you can press here or you can press here so this is the the, um, the options to load a, a texture you can load a procedural texture like the clouds noise or whatever you want in our case we want to load um, an image so we're going to click this option and now we are going to load it with this uh, button open and i'm going to look for the texture this is the texture grip.png is a grayscale image texture click open we're going to go back to the modifier panel and here we're going to to change some some settings the first option is coordinates we are going to use the uv coordinates so we can use the unwrap to project the texture to the object so choose uv that's why we made the unwrap uh, before adding the, the modifiers. Uh, 
um, the hidden UV map you can choose UV map or not in our case uh, it's the same because we have only one UV map direction um, we are going to set it as normal you can you can set other options like using the X Y Z or other options uh, right here X Y and Z are the the axis uh, when you choose normal what what the displacement fire will do is to move the vertices in the di direction of the normals of the faces or the polygons here I have this sphere to show you uh, which are the normals so you can see if, if I go to the overlays options and turn on um, the display of the normals here are the normals of each polygon each um, blue line is the normal of one face so the displacement modifier when it has the um, normal direction uh, activated will, will displace the vertices in that direction for the reason you will get the displacement uh, this way if you choose for instance for instance the X modifier or the C modifier will only displace the modifier uh, through the C axis the positive axis or the negative axis okay so in our case we are going to choose normal and now we have to reduce uh, a lot the strength of the displacement because right now is a bit high so we are going to reduce it to 0 0.05 and I think that is a bit uh, high so we're going to re reduce it a, li a bit more Point zero 0.01 I think that it could be it could be okay and now we're going what we need to do is to apply the displacement modifier or the displacement modifier only to this part of the gun this part of the gun okay right now is applying the displacement modifier the displacement modifier um, to the whole object okay as you can see here so to to apply the displacement modifier only to this part of the of the geometry what we need to do is create a vertex group vertex group is something like a selection inside the mesh inside the object and then load it here in this uh, in this field okay so we are going to to enter to edit mode you can go enter in, you can enter in edit mode using this this button and click edit mode or you can also click tab uh, press tab on the keyboard and we'll enter to edit mode i'm going to uh, deactivate the the normals here and now we're going to select which part of the of the mesh we are going to use the displacement modifier uh, here I could use, for instance, the circle select with the C and select like so. But there is a quick way. Um, you can use the L selection. And when you choose the L selection, the L selection is a select linked. Uh, it will appear after you use the... Um, the select linked will be appear here options for the select linked um, function and here you can you you will have other options for instance uh, material sim sharp uvs by default it will set as normal when it's set as normal 
when you press L, it will select all the geometry that is uh, connected to the to the um, element below the cursor. For instance, if I have the cursor over this edge, it will select that edge and all the mesh that is connected to that edge. For that reason, in this case, it will select everything. But if you change the option to uh, seam, as we have the object already unwrapped and we have seams all around our uh, to the part that we want to, to add the displacement, it's a lot more faster to select. Okay, so um, with this uh, selected, we are going to go to the um, object data properties panel. Here I already have the grip uh, vertex group. I'm going to delete it so I can show you right away how to do it. Uh, here in the vertex groups panel, I'm going to show you like this, like so. We are going to create a new group. We are going to change the name, double click, change the name, for instance, grip. And uh, right now this group is empty, so we need to add these vertices to this group by pressing the button assign. If you press the button assign and with this option, the weight option set to mm. one, will assign all these vertices with a weight of one, one is the, the maximum, to this group. So I'm going to press assign. There you go. And now these vertices is, are uh, added to this group. Okay. If you want to check that you added the, the vertices, you can deselect everything, clicking outside the mesh and selecting the, the, the group, the vertex group. You can press select and will select all the vertices that are added to this group. So that way you can um, check if you added the vertices or not. Okay, so we are going to go back to the uh, modifier panel. And here we're going to add the vertex group that we uh, just uh, created. So select the grid. You won't be you won't be able to see anything if you are in edit mode by default. So go to option mode. And now the um, displacement modifier are is is only being applied to the part that we want. Okay. Right now the texture size is a bit uh, big, so we're going to reduce the the, the pattern to reduce the size of the pattern we are going to we're going to go to the texture panel this is the, the same texture that we have loaded we are going to scroll down to the mapping here the mapping uh, section and in the repeat options here we can set the, the tiling of the texture if you set a higher number, it will uh, repeat the texture more times. So we're going to click and choose, for instance, 4. And in the other field, also 4. And you will notice that it's a, it's a, a bit um, weird, but don't worry, just go back go back to the modifier um, panel section, the modifier panels, um, open the solution surface options, and here we're going to set a higher amount of uh, subdivisions. So with five subdivisions or maybe six subdivisions, it's a lot better than before. Okay. 
So what we need to to adjust now are two things, in my opinion. Uh, one is the the amount of strength. So we're going to reduce a, a bit more the strength. Uh, zero point zero dot zero zero five. I think that's that's be that's better. And there's another problem, and it's this problem. When the displacement modifier is around the edges, it makes a, a, a weird effect here. So to fix that, what we, are, what we are going to do is to go back to the vertex group uh, that we did and remove the uh, the vertices from the from the edges from the borders okay to reduce that effect so enter to edit mode we are going to select only these vertices the vertices that we are going to remove from the vertex group it doesn't matter if you select more vertices um, uh, outside the the part, okay. It will, it won't make any difference if you select vertices that that are outside the the section that we want. Okay, so now I selected. As you can see, I want to show you this way so you can see. It. Uh, see it better. I selected all the borders and now I'm going to go back to the um, object data properties and in the grip vertex group I'm going to remove these vertices. How we remove these vertices? Only click on remove. There you go. And now if we go back to object mode, pressing tab or using the this button right here the the displacement modifier it is working much more better than before also i forget to uh, remove the vertices from this part of the where the bolts are where the bolts are so i'm going to remove those vertices I'm going to remove these vertices like we did before, pressing the remove, bu the remove button. Also, we're going to remove this right here, remove. And now, there you go. Here you have the, uh, the grid made with the displacement modifier. Um, I hope this could be useful. Uh, see you next time.